I would like to take another minute of your time to give you an idea of what happens next. The ceasefire, which is currently in place, has already been violated by Russia's insistent attacks on Mariupol. The ceasefire will not last. Ultimately, Ukraine will maintain its territorial integrity if it wins a military battle. The diplomatic political option is a nice idea. Unfortunately, it may be a dream. Consequently, we Americans have to be a part of the military option. Russia is not only a regional menace for Ukraine. Russia is a global peril. Today, Ukraine, tomorrow, the Baltic States, then Georgia, Georgia, parts of Georgia are already under Russian domination. Parts of Moldova are under Russian domination. It's becoming abundantly clear to our allies in NATO, even the Germans and the French, who have stopped, who have agreed to put an injunction on the sale of the Mistral to the Russians. Even the Germans are pursuing further sanctions. The bottom line is that the entire democratic world has to rise against Russia and Putin. Ukraine has to be afforded the opportunity to join NATO and then pursuant to Article 5, all for one and one for all. An attack upon Ukraine is an attack upon all the countries of NATO and all of 